I like to start with a side that is just, you know, they have pre-sewn for you and just straight. It's not like frayed or whatever. But I don't think it'll matter because this side will be hidden by the other side anyways. Leave about an inch or two off the ends, you know, to play it safe. And simply put some hot glue in the inside. And it's going to cover half of the headband like it did previously. So try to do it quickly because it's hot glue, obviously, and I'll probably stop being hot. <laughs> It's so hard to start out to begin with, I think. That's like the hardest thing because you have to like, it's like the foundation of the fabric is the beginning because how it is in the beginning is how much you need to tighten it in the future. So this is what I look like. I don't know if you can see it. Yeah, this is how it look like. Let it dry. Oh god, there's like extra glue and I got my hand. So just keep adding more glue on and then just attaching the material on and leave it like kind of stretched out. Don't let it be all crinkly. Especially silk material because silk material you can really see it easily when it gets all crinkly and messy. Just add more in. Ah, it's hot. It's hot when you're trying to smooth it down with your fingers. Ow. And like I said, I like to put this piece of fabric over like this as I'm going because it'll give it more of a... Um, I don't know, I feel like if you just don't wrap it and just leave it, let's just keep gluing on the other side, that when you bend the other side over, it'll be all uh, tight, like too tight, and it makes it all wrinkly. So, just make sure that the fabric is down. It's not any more difficult anyways, it's just the same, just with a piece of fabric on the other side covering it. So, it's not like it'll change your technique in any way. Just keep adding hot glue in the inner and I'm putting the fabric down oh it's really hot and you probably should be careful too I like to use hot glue because unlike other glue that takes like longer to dry hot glue actually is really quick so you know. So since it's kind of a crinkly here, you just pull it down like that. All right. So now I'm gonna cut the material and make sure that you have enough to wrap it so it meets at least mid um, section of the width of the headband. So. These scissors make so much of a difference. Because they're so sharp. Okay, just cut the ends. Okay, so I just cut the piece of fabric out. It doesn't have to be perfectly straight. Okay. Since this part is a lot narrower than this wide part on top, then you can just basically just fold the fabric in like that until it meets the start of the headband and then just tuck it downward and then glue it
pull it so it stretches out and I'll tighten and then leave it a little so it dries. Just because the silk material is really easily um, wrinkled up. And then just keep going, adding more glue. And you're just pulling the material up as you press it against the headband. This part is not going to be able to, I'm not going to be able to fold it, so I'm just simply press it inward and glue it. Now just excess glue, just take a piece of construction paper and scrape it off. Because you want it to be flat. Oh. Right, so I'm going to finish this up. Okay, so there are ripply parts like this right here. And like before, I'm just going to put some hot glue in between. Kind of tug it so it's tightened. Like that. And then press it down to the glue. And the extra part, I'll just uh, wipe it off with hard cardboard paper. Mm, I think it looks pretty decent. And then this side is kind of. Jeez, why do I keep. This side is kind of long, so I'm just going to trim the ends. This material is a lot more. Um, lighter than the other material, so I won't need to cut any of it. I'm just going to tuck the end. In, then tuck it downward against the headband, and then glue it. Try to keep it stretched. So then you glue it and push it in, then the material will be tightly glued onto the headband. And just take some paper and just wipe it off if you could. Oh jeez, this is getting messy. I have like some fray ends already. This side do the exact same thing. Tuck uh, I have like glue on my nails. Tuck the end down a little to hide the fray part and then tuck it down once more against the headband and then glue it. I like to hold the tip that's tucked in while I glue it so then when I I can just push it down afterwards right away so the hot glue will just be mended to it. And then just take piece of paper and wipe off any excess glue. Okay. And both sides will still look all disgusting. So you're just gonna take some hot glue and put it in that little hole right there. Just push the fabric together. And then take a piece of cardboard and just wipe it off. So it'll be all nice and put together. Just repeat another side. Do the same thing, press it together and then wipe it off.
This headband looks a little messy. I think I rushed through it too much. So you should probably slow down most of the time that you're doing this because you don't want to mess it up. Okay, so as you can see, in here you probably, I don't know, I don't know if the lighting's good or not. To